4.4 is solving binomial problems. This topic also a very important one. Here you need to learn only one formula, a rule, to find the nth term or general term of a binomial expansion. You need to remember this. If you look at the binomial expansion, if you look at any one of the term in binomial extension, it will be like this. NCR a power n minus r b power r you look at the binomial expansion if it is 2 it will be nc2 a power n minus 2 b power 2 or 3 can be anything so this is the general term of a binomial expansion you need to know this if you ask me why let's say you are given a question maybe i'll take a question from exercise 4d and i'll explain this Okay, in this question, this is taken from exercise 4D. They want you to find the coefficient of x cube in this binomial expansion. So you might be thinking, why do I need to learn a new one? Why not write out the binomial expansion and find the coefficient of x cube? You are not wrong. You can do that. But in certain cases, writing all the terms will consume a lot of time. And this will be much easier. So we are going to use the general term to find the coefficient of x cube. It's not that difficult. I will explain that here. This is a general term. Here n is 5. R, we don't know R. A is the first term, 1 power 5 minus R. B is the second term here. That's the general term. We, I have taken this general term, replace n by 5, a by first term, b by b by second b is the second now they want you to find the coefficient of x cube in this binomial expansion when you want to find the coefficient of x cube the power has to be 3 so you can say it's x cube term right so in order for in order to find the coefficient of x cube the r has to be 3 definitely r has to be 3 so you will get x cube here, right? Replace r by 3 here. 5c3, 1 power 5 minus 3, 2x power 3. When you simplify this, 5c3 is 10, 1 power anything is 1, 10. You cube this 2 cube is 8x cube, which is 80x cube. So the coefficient of x cube is 80. You see, this is a easiest way to find the coefficient of x cube instead of writing each term and find the coefficient of x cube that's not wrong again i'm saying this that's not wrong you can find the expansion and find the coefficient of x cube but this is much easier and you need to learn this in order to solve certain questions involving coefficients of x cube or x power of y or something like that so you take the general form replace n by 5 a by first term b by second term and find out r by reading the question carefully in this question they want you to find the coefficient of x cube so this has to be x cube so r has to be definitely 3 so you put r equals 3 you get the coefficient of x cube again here they want you to find the coefficient of x cube we are going to use the general term. The general term is NCR A power N minus R B power R. So here N is the power. So 6CR A is the first term. 3 power 6 minus R. B is the second term. Take it together with the negative sign. That's it. Here if you want to find the coefficient of x cube, this x, the power of x has to be 3, so definitely r should be 3. So replace r by 3. 6c3, 3, 3 power 6 minus 3, negative 2x power 3. Simplify this carefully. Six C three is 20 times. 3 cube is 27. Here when you expand it, minus 2 cube is 8 x cube.
you get negative 4320x cube. So when they say coefficient of x cube, we don't need to write x cube. So the answer is negative 4320. That's how you find the coefficient of x cube. Let's say the same question. They want you to find the coefficient of x power 4. Replace r by 4 and simplify it. Now look at this question k. You have a fraction here, but the method is the same. Use the general term. Replace n by 8 here. 8cr. A power 8 minus R. A is the first term. 2 power 8 minus R. B power R. B is the second term. Negative half X power R. In order to find the coefficient of X cube, we replace R by 3 here. So it's 8C3. 2 power 8 minus 8 minus 3. Minus half X power 3. And simplify this. 8c3 is 56 times 2 power 5. 2 power 4 is 16. 32. You have to cube each and every number and variable here. So since it's a cube, it's going it's gonna stay in stays the same negative sign. 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, x cube. Simplify this. You get negative 2 2 4 x cube so the coefficient of x cube is negative 224 that's it that's how we use the general term to find coefficient of any x power any number look at this question in this question the coefficient of x cube is given already, negative 720. They want you to find the value of b. We are going to use the general term, which is ncr a power n minus r b power r. Replace a by 5, n by 5. 5 cr, first term is 3, 3 power 5 minus r. Second term is bx here, power r. So replace R by 3 here, 5C3, 3 power 5 minus 3, BX to the power 3. 5C3 is 10, 3 square is 9, this is B cube, X cube, but I'm not going to take the X cube because coefficient means without the X cube. This is equal to negative 720 because the coefficient of X cube is given up. Now make B as a subject. So B cube is negative 720 divided by 90, which is negative 8. B is cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. That's the answer.